What's up, Pandu? Speeder from Panda here. Hey, I bought myself something here. This D-Link power line kit. You know these things. I'm, I'm just going to uh, use them to connect this computer to my router. I just want to quick run a little speed test here. This computer's been running on Wi-Fi forever, and it's not been bad. Uh, 10 megabits per second here. I think hardwiring it uh, with, a, with an Ethernet cable to my router will probably increase the speeds, but more than that for me, even if it doesn't increase the speeds, what I really will benefit from is the fact that uh, I'll have more consistent connections. So with Wi-Fi, sometimes there's signal interruptions, sometimes the, the Wi-Fi router um, goes down, etc., etc. So right here, speed test isn't bad, but let's go ahead and just unbox this uh, power line kit, install it and see what we've got. All right, so here is the kit. This is from D-Link. It's a power line uh, 2000, which means in terms of speed, it gets 2000 megabits, which will be, which will at least allow it to be faster than mine. Now I've already gone ahead and kind of cracked this open a little bit. Uh, I just wanted to show you that the kit itself comes with these two power line converters. As you can see, they're kind of the, the size of like a couple packages of cigarettes, maybe a little bigger. Grounded prongs here, and this is the DHP 700 AV. Even though the box says DHP 701 AV, we'll assume that there that is correct. You can see that there is a network port on both of them, a reset button. Most of the time these are plug and play. The other cool thing is if you don't have ethernet cables, or Cat5 or whatever they're called, uh, it does come with a couple here and let's see how long it is about you know four or five feet long So pretty decent pretty, pretty decent cable length I'm gonna use mine with 10 foot cables on both ends FYI in case you're wondering if I'm gonna get uh, signal loss with longer cables It's just the way I'm gonna have to do it. So let's go plug these things in. So you plug the cat5 cable into your router I take the other end of it and I plug it into my D-Link here and then I just plug this into an outlet. So I've got it plugged in here and as you can see I've got a couple of little green lights going. Now let's go plug it into the computer. Now, while I don't recommend this type of setup, I've got the uh, power line adapter that's connected to my computer plugged into a surge protector only to extend it out of the, the uh, outlet there. Uh, because otherwise it's going to be tucked behind and you're not going to be able to see it. But what I wanted to show you here is that I've got all three lights lit up now. The power light and the networking light. So hopefully we should be connected to the internet. So let's take a look. Right, and see so it. I do have a network icon showing that we have network access on this computer again. So now if I go back here and hit test again, let's see if in fact we're connected to the network and see what our connection speeds are. So there we go, we bust right through our previous uh, connection speeds. Now, this is my home network, and so I don't subscribe to the world's fastest internet connection. It's just DSL from AT&T U-verse. And so we're getting pretty similar performance numbers, and I'm pretty happy with that. The good thing about this, I think, like I said, is that for me, it's just going to be a more stable connection uh, instead of getting interruptions to the Wi-Fi signal on a regular basis. So, Peter Von Panda, using my D-Link Powerline AV2 2000 megabit network adapters, out!